Hey everyone, what's up? AJP Wallets back with my final video on Allison's Wallets channel. So today I have a very simple tutorial that all you guys can follow, whether you're a beginner or more advanced. And today I'm just going to show you a very, very simple way to make a duct tape iPad case. And from this tutorial, hopefully you can expand and make other things like, you know, laptop cases, phone cases. This is just the base for you know everything so I'm just going to show you guys right now and the supplies you'll be needing for this one are a piece of felt and some duct tape uh, you can also use bubble wrap and stuff uh, if you want or a t-shirt uh, I'll show you guys some examples later on of some other iPad cases that I've made so uh, let's just get on with the video all right so for this tutorial you're just going to need a piece of felt and I have some duct tape right here. So let's just get started with this. So what I have here is a piece of felt fabric that I just found laying around and you can find it at any craft store. And so basically uh, what you wanna do is take your iPad or whatever you're making this for. You wanna measure to see uh, how big you want your case to be. And so this in half, pretty much makes up for the uh, case. It's just a little bit wide on the side, so I think I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit. So, I'm gonna take this and measure it. You can use a Sharpie to uh, measure it and some sort of straight edge. Line looks pretty straight, so now I'm just going to get a pair of scissors to trim it. I'm going to place my iPad inside just to check one more time, and I think I have enough space to make a little lip on the top so it can have like a little flap so I'm just going to measure this one more time and cut the other half off We have this done. Just check this one more time. Looks good. So now we're going to take out the iPad case, and what we're going to do is just fold this in half. And what I like to do is I like to tape up the sides and then tape the whole thing, but in layers. So I actually do one coat in uh, gray duct tape or whatever duct tape I don't need. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do one layer. So I just have some tape right here.
So as you can see, I am just about done with the iPad case and I made these slits um, on the top where I can just fold these little flaps over to uh, finish off the iPad case. And I did kind of rush through it because my battery uh, is dying on my camera. But uh, you can always just trim the sides here. And so I'll probably do that later. And now you can just fit your iPad right in. It should be nice and snug. Fold this over and then you can put a Velcro strap right here. So uh, yeah, that was pretty much a very, very quick tutorial on how to make a duct tape iPad case. This one is uh, pretty thin. And here are just some others that I have. This is one of the newest ones I've made. This one is made out of hound suit. And if you do want to see a more in-depth video, you can go check it out on my channel. I will leave the link below. And you can also click um, right here somewhere. And if you don't want to make an iPad case, you can also do it for your phone. And what I have here is one for my laptop. And so I have a laptop case made out of blue plaid, velcro here, there's gold and white interior, kind of hard to see, but yeah. So that was just a very, very brief tutorial on how to make a duct tape iPad case and hopefully you guys uh, have learned some cool tricks from the videos that I've made for you guys in the past couple of days and I really appreciate uh, Allison's Wallets for giving me this opportunity. Thank you guys for all the awesome comments and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel if you haven't. I found another iPad case, but uh, yeah, so thanks you guys for everything. This is my final video here on Allison's Wallet's channel. It was an awesome experience to upload some tutorials and some wallets that I have and I just want to thank you guys for everything. So if you do want to see more of my videos, all the links will be down below and yeah. Once again, thanks everyone for having me, and th this is the last time. Uh, signing off, this is AJP Waltz, and I'll see you guys later.